Hello everyone, welcome back to AHGP. My name is Aaron and today I'm bringing you a brand new series on the channel. We are embarking on an F1 Manager 23 journey and we're going to be taking Mercedes back to the top. And the reason for this is threefold. First of all, Mercedes are my favourite team in Formula 1. Lewis Hamilton is my favourite driver and there's something of a record to be set straight. You may or may not know what I'm talking about. The aims of this series are very, very simple. Season one, we want to win races. Then we want to win Lewis Hamilton, his eighth world championship and break the record for world championships won. And then the third and final aim of the series is to replace Lewis Hamilton succession planning, if you will, and try and find the next uh, world champion in a Mercedes that could also be George Russell. So maybe he takes the mantle from Lewis Hamilton and we have to find a number two to fit alongside George Russell. So we're going to dive into the game and uh, let's see what awaits us. All right then, here we go. We're going to be choosing our team. As I said, we are choosing Mercedes. There is George Russell and there is Lewis Hamilton. We're going to be taking on Mercedes a four and a quarter star team rating. Season objective of second, long-term objective, Constructors' Champion. I've already outlined our own aims for the series, a starting balance of high. If we have a look at car performance, we're actually the fourth best car on the grid, according to the game. Uh, the headquarters, uh, uh, Brackley and uh, Bricksworth, rates second. Our staff performance rates third. Now, uh, unbelievably, Ferrari are second on car performance. I'll just show you. I mean... Look at that. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, anyone who's watched Formula 1 for the last two or three years will know that Ferrari staff probably aren't even the third or fourth best performing group of staff with the way they do strategy. Anyway, we'll be looking to be the first best performing staff uh, guided by myself and our driver performance is second, although that is debatable. Uh, so... Let's have a look at everything else. There's our staff. Technical chief is James Allison. Jared Murphy is head of aero. Ron Meadows is sporting director. And the two race engineers are Bono and Marcus Dudley. And uh, Mick Schumacher is our reserve. So there's a little bit of biography. Eight constructors championships. Nine drivers championships for Mercedes. So let's move on. Let's put my name in the boxes. There we go. I'm not a first-time manager. I am a returning manager. So there's a few bits that uh, have changed, and uh, I'm not going to have those on. I'm now an experienced manager, and we are going to continue, confirm, and dive in to preparations for Bahrain. Here we go then with our first email from Audrey, uh, our first day. There's not really anything to, to note here. Just, you know... The sponsor obligations, nothing really to write home about there. Uh, so uh, we'll have a look at the car and we'll dive into some development. So uh, we might as well immediately design something. I mean, the first thing that jumps out is maybe some side pods. So let's let's design some side pods. Uh, we've got 4.8 uh, design hours remaining. Uh, mega allocation unit hours. CFD. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll go with two hours, that, actually we'll go 2.4, because it ends in 14 days, this ATR period, and we'll use exactly half for everything. So we'll half the wind tunnel hours. Uh, so we'll have a look. I mean, this is all pretty cool, but it does go over my head, all of these numbers on the right-hand side. So I'm just going to go to this. Rank on the grid. I mean, it does car one and car two. I mean, car one and car two are going to have exactly the same parts. Uh, so I don't, I don't understand. Well, I don't understand why one is seventh, one is eighth, because they should be the same car. Uh, so acceleration is where we're struggling. Uh, we are struggling high speed as well, which is actually going to help uh, this with this side pod upgrade we're going to do. Uh, and then the design focus. This is a new bit that I've spotted. So I've been playing through as McLaren 
uh, just to sort of get to grips with the game to see where what else has changed. You can choose a preset focus. You don't have to manually adjust these bars. I, I don't remember. I haven't played the 22 version for a long time. I don't remember the preset bar being available. So you can have optimized cooling. So you see how down here cooling goes up by 12. Uh, optimized aero, so we get even more high speed. Race performance, which loses cooling, boosts high speed. Uh, that's basically the same as. Uh, it's the same benefits as optimized aerodynamics, but engine cooling is significantly reduced if we do race performance. So I'm going to go optimized aero, and then the minimum lifespan, which is helpful as well. You can make things lighter, uh, but obviously they break a lot quicker, and <laughs> probably a lot easier. But if you go for more lifespan, they're heavier, so you'll be slower. So we'll just take a little bit of life out of the, the, uh, the lifespan. And uh, we'll do that, and then we'll throw a couple of engineers at it. We'll confirm that is a million dollar dues spent on some side pods, which this car definitely needs. And then we are so it already does a suspension uh, upgrade for you. I'm going to go for because we are well, we're lacking acceleration, so I'm going to go for a nice shiny new rear wing. And we're going to throw all of the CFD and wind tunnel hours remaining at it. And we're going to focus on high speed performance. Let's get the car rank up so it makes sense. We'll lose a little bit in low speed, but we can do... Can we balance it? The thing is, you can you can then customise it. So if we did uh, optimised aero, we, we wouldn't lose anything on low speed. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go high speed performance because we can always readjust the, uh, the DRS Delta actually we want to do that so dirty air tolerance will go down a little bit and there's a fly just flying around here I'm gonna swat him away and uh, yeah so our DRS effectiveness now goes up by eight so uh, that should make it easier to overtake uh, we'll develop that we'll throw some engineers at it as well it's gonna take 36 days to complete so the end of March that will come for so this will probably be some sort of upgrade package for Baku, and that's how we'll try and structure it. We won't just throw bits on it willy-nilly and then uh, wait for everything to sort of work together. We'll try and put bits on together. Um, so that's going to co cost almost one and a half million dollar dues, uh, the official currency of AHGP dollar dues. So uh, barring Grand Prix in eleven days, let's have a look at our drivers uh, development. This is pretty cool. So you can change how the drivers are focusing on their their growth, essentially, or what you want certain drivers, if they're an older driver, to maintain. So uh, George Russell is car one for some reason. I, I, don't, I, I don't agree with that. Um, no offense, George, but I don't think you should be in car one. But anyway, so uh, yeah, we're going to look at where is George weak. He's pretty strong in all areas. When it's overtaking is probably his weakest area. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, his lowest stat is 81, which is overtaking. So we're going to put him on some wheel-to-wheel -wheel training. And then you get the facility uh, things there. We can renew his contract. He's on nearly $8 million he dues a year. And his bonus threshold is P3. So we need to keep an eye on that. Sir Lewis Hamilton, how are you doing, my friend? Accuracy only 83. Well, if you're going by Cops Corner standards, probably right. Um without diving into that bag of worms again. Uh, so development, I'm going to... <laughs> driving standards. <laughs> after the, I'm filming this about half an hour after the Belgian Grand Prix, and yesterday he got the five-second penalty for what I feel was very little reason uh, for that clash with Sergio Perez. <laughs> so some might say driving standards need some work from Lewis Hamilton, but uh, we're going to go with... Tell you what, we're going to go pace on... Long runs. Long run pace with Lewis. We know how devastating he can be over a race distance. Uh, we can develop our um, technical staff as well. Look at that. James Allison, what are we going to put you on? This might be a. This might end up being an introduction episode. Uh, and then episode two becomes the race weekend. So uh, I'll do them both and then I'll try and release them sort of around the same time maybe. Um, so if, if that's the case... 
and you're bored of this, then <laughs> skip ahead to uh, to episode two where uh, we actually do some racing. So uh, development focus for James Allison, structure, chassis. Well, chassis are quite important. Grand effect. I mean, he's pretty good at grand effect, to be honest. Adrian knew he's probably the only one slightly better. Body work, aero principles. Uh, let's go with body work because then side pods, suspension, chassis. Yeah, I think they're all pretty important. Jared Murphy. Again, we can uh, build him up a bit. Cooling only 83. I mean, there's probably better than a lot of other staff you'll find down the field. Uh, we'll keep it balanced on him for now. Bono. We can develop Bono. Car analysis, driver comms, and responsiveness. Composure, 84. I mean, Bono is like the most chilled guy on the radio. I can't believe 84 is, is all he has on composure. Feedback, 91. Well, to be fair, communication is 94. So, uh, you know what? We're going to keep Bono balanced. Marcus Dudley. Uh, he's pretty strong as well, actually. We'll just leave him there. Ron Meadows is sporting director. His contract is up in less than a year. Nine months. So, uh yeah, if we get slapped with a load of penalties and anything, it maybe runs out the door. So uh, he'll be in charge of training the uh, the pit crew. So if we have lots of errors on the pit stops, Ron's getting the boot. Uh, and again, we can go to pit crew and we can develop them. So uh, overview, where is it? So I've forgotten where it is. So you can develop them let's have a look here we go uh, we are in february and we can change that so we can reduce pit stop errors pit stop time car building uh, fatigue reduction so let's go with so let's do uh, tires for the pit stop drill and then just generally have a balanced approach because we want the tire changes to be really quick we'll uh, oh no, we want to confirm those, confirm those, and they're well rested at the moment. So we are preparing for um, the Bahrain Grand Prix. We'll just have a look at the. We have to remember as well that there are two, I believe, two Mercedes Juniors in the Junior Formula. Uh, so one of them, we'll just take that away. So one of them is Pramer's. Fred Vesti in Formula 2 and also with Prema in Formula 3 is Paul Aron from Estonia. Now he can't race in F1 just yet, but Fred Vesti can. And uh, we'll have a... Because the the, uh, the F2 and F3 championships are dynamic now, we can physically keep an eye on how he's doing and uh, then make a decision as to whether we uh, give Mick Schumacher the old heave-ho at the end of the season or halfway through it even. And then... Um, put Fred in as our, as our reserve and maybe he becomes uh, that's part of our succession planning perhaps but uh, we will wait and see so we are going to I think that's everything we, we need to do let's have a look the factory level is three design center three we could probably improve the wind tunnel but everything's in tip-top condition here star facilities our simulator's pretty good Anthony Davidson's probably in there right now we could probably improve our helipad. We don't even have a tour centre. Build a tour centre. We want people to come and see the excellence of Mercedes. And do you know what? They can come to our shiny new helipad. That's where they'll land for their tours. All right. That's the end of this episode. If it is an episode. If it isn't, then I've probably just cut this bit. And then we've gone straight to the Bahrain Grand Prix. But if it is the end of an episode, thanks for watching. Head over to episode two and uh, we will be diving into the Bahrain Grand Prix. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.